Please. Yeah. Please. Wananchi power. Bunge power. Kwa majina anaitwa James Mulamba. I mean ni Gen Z. Tuanze tu hapo. Sasa tuanze na Gashagwa. Mnanisikia fiti? Haya. <coughs> we have been treated to theatrics in the past few weeks. Tunaonyeshwa kwamba ni kama shida ya Kenya yote ni Gashagwa. Kwamba akitolewa leo Kenya itakuwa sawa. Gashagwa akitolewa leo pesa za JSS interns zitapatikana. Si mnajua hawaja confirmiwa? Gashago akitolewa leo hii shifa yenye tunalia iko na shida itakuwa iko sawa. Gashago akitolewa leo hii adani deal yenye tunakataa itakuwa iko sawa. Gashago akitolewa leo wabunge wetu wenye tunajua hawana akili watakuwa na akili leo. Na mimi siwaogopi. Wakitaka wanaweza nikujia. Hawa jamaa wametubeba sana. Sijui Kasmuel alikuwa na wabembeleza nini. Napata prime time pale bombas na unaanza kuambia wabunge ati oh najua tumekosana siku mingi huku mitandaoni lakini sisi hatuna mambo mingi mtutafutie kazi kazi gani Kama wabunge wenyewe hawana kazi wameenda kutafuta kazi huko tuwapigie kura sababu hawana kazi watatupea zikiwa wapi Wewe umekosa kazi kazi yako ni kubeba picha ya Ruto na unasema kazi zinapatikana wapi kazi kwa serikali kama una kazi wewe omba kazi kwa serikali tafadhali bro hebu tai huyu huyu jamaa ona ongea usionge juu ya huyu jamaa okay address the speaker sawa address the speaker continue lakini lakini si hizo kazi ni kazi but address the speaker not any member. Okay. Haya. Sasa turudi hapa kwa maneno. Haya. Gashagua ameambiwa yeye ni mbaya sababu ameleta maneno ya shareholding. Tuko na ukabila Kenya, hiyo tunakubali. Na ni mwingi sana. Hata hapa bunge la wananchi ukabila umejaa. Asiko ubaya. Ukabila huko hatujamaliza Kenya bado. Sasa Gashagua anaambiwa yeye ndio shida sababu ameleta maneno ya shareholding ambayo ni kama haikuwa Kenya ni kama ni foreign word. Shareholding kwa serikali imekuwa sio mara ya kwanza tumeona serikali kigawa resources zenye tumecollect sisi wote pamoja depending on eneo yako ileta kura ngapi. Kwani ni mara ya kwanza? Si hata serikali ya Uhuru na Ruto iligawa hivyo development. Kwani barabara zilienda central ni ngapi? Ba- wamepeleka wamepeleka dams huko central. Wewe tulia. Uko Waja waja ni washangaze. Waja ni washangaze. Waja ni washangaze. Waja ni washangaze. Bunge power. Bunge power. Msikubali kupoteza na watu fulani wamelipwa kuja kupoteza watu. Waja tuseme hivi. Waja tuseme hivi. Waja tuseme hivi. Central has more dams than any other any other region in this country yeah. na ni place yenye napata mvua mingi sana. Yeah. Tell me why northeastern is struggling with water issues na mahali central kumepelekwa dams mingi than we can count. Yeah. Na Rift Valley. Si walipelekwa Aror na Kimwareru huko wakati Ruto alikuwa deputy president. Yeah. Si mnajua vile walifanyia hiyo dam. Yes. Mimi sina shida na dam kupelekwa Rift Valley ama Central. Lakini those that deserve wapewi sababu share holding maneno saijaanza saa hii. When this this guys who are in power now were negotiating power they negotiated a share holding agreement. Yenye Gashagwa was supposed to get uh, half the cabinet and he was supposed to get some resources apeleke Central sababu he said he delivered 4 million votes. Yes. Wetangula na Musalia walipewa share yao na si umeona wali waliinua the sugar factories. Simuliona the sugar factories zimepewa pesa. Si zilikuwa zimeanguka. Hiyo si nishia yao wanapewa. Amazon King si alipewa share yao. I'm getting to the point. Amazon King si alipewa share yake. Yes, yes speaker. So, hii mambo ya share holding haijaanza na gashagua. Iko kwa hii serikali yote. Ruto akiwa 
Ruto akiwa pale centro Ruto akiwa centro Ruto akiwa centro Protect me speaker Yes Ruto akiwa centro alisema alikumbusha alikumbusha watu wa Mount Kenya kwamba wao ndio the biggest shareholders kwa serikali yake na akahesabu zile developments amewapea na zile appointments zenye amewapea kwa kwani gashagua ndio mbaya kusema mambo ya shares na president boss wake anawakumbusha hiyo ni uongo watu wanapewa gashagua kuambiwa pia ni, ni ako tribal kwani yeye ndio mkabila peke yake Yes. Si hao watu wameingia kwa hizi viti kwa ukabila. Yes. Si wakiitisha hizi viti waliomba kwa ukabila. Yes. Oh mimi ni peeni mimi ni wapa kweni. Yes. Kwani sasa Gashagua tena ndio the most tribal politician. Yes. Wakienda kuongea huko kwa matanga wanaongeaga aje. Si Wakiongea huko na akina natembea na akina wetangula wanaongeaga aje. Si walipigana huko. Ukabila tu. Wakisema wizi. Kwani Gashagua ndo mwizi wa kwanza. Hiyo 5.2 bilion na maambua ameiba. Au maimpi wa ameiba ngapi? Huyo Ruto ameiba ngapi? Hiyo maneno ya Gashagua tumefunga. Kama anaenda nyumbani hata huyo Ruto aende nyumbani. Hata hao MPs waende nyumbani. Kufa makanga. Kufa dereva kufa makanga. Hakuna mwenye ako beta. They are all bad. Wote wametuangusha na tumeshajua kuna mahali wanatupeleka. Tukuje kwa mambo ya Adani. Tukuje kwa mambo ya Adani. Kuna kampuni mingi zenye zilikuwa zinaweza tufanyia hii project ya airport. Wacha ni wasome. Kuna, kuna kampuni inaitwa GMR Infrastructure Limited. Yes. Kuna kampuni inaitwa L&T Construction. Yes. Hizi ni kampuni zinafanya airport na zinafanya ports. Yes. Kuna kampuni inaitwa Tata Sands Private Limited. Kuna kampuni inaitwa AIC Infrastructure Limited. Hizi kampuni nasoma hazina scandals. Kwa nini kuenda kutafuta kampuni zote zinaweza tufanyia airport? Mkapata tu yenye kona scandal. Amunge chukua yenye kwa afadhali, yenye haina scandal. Unatafuta tu mtu wa kuweka mahali una, unasema acha nichukue mwizi. Huyo ndio wako afadhali. It tells you what? Tells you there is an agreement huyo mwizi alifanya na mwizi mwenzake. Siwezi wanajuana. Mwizi amefanya deal na mwizi mwenzake. Mwizi hawezi fanya deal na Yesu, hawata sikizana. Ile deal Yesu alifanya na mwizi ni kwa msalaba peke yake. Ule mwizi alimwambia unikumbuke ukienda paradiso. Sio mnajua? Hiyo tu ndio deal yenye. Hiyo ndio deal. The only deal Yesu anaweza fanya na mwizi. Mwizi aliendea mwizi mwenzake. The Adani group ni yawezi. In, in the parliament ya India wamekataliwa. Project zote Adani ilikuwa imefanya before the Indian parliament as opposed. Imesema hapa imefanywa wizi. Hapa tukiangalia hii Adani imetupeleka kombo. Kama huko India mambo imeenda sakaja. Oh segemnege. Sasa hapa Hapa Kenya. Hapa Kenya. Kama huko mambo ilikataa hapa kwetu ndio itaenda vizuri. Hai, hata huyo sakaja akwende. Sasa niwaambie. Kama ni wezi huko kwao na wamekataliwa huko kwao, hata huku kwetu wataleta wizi tu. Na ni deal ya wezi. Na tukatae deal ya wezi. Wacha niwakumbushe, deal ya Ketrako wa mkuu wa mnaijua, si shasainiwa. Hakuna public participation ya mambo ya Ketrako, mambo ya mambo ya SHF, mambo ya Adani hakuna. Lakini public participation Public participation Public participation ya Gashagua ndio wamtoe ilifanywa. Ndio waende waseme tumehesabu tumehesabu public participation tumeona wananchi wanamtoa. Bwana wange tufanyia public participation ya Ketrako, public participation ya Adani, deal ya Ketrako ishasainiwa. Na shangaa wandai hata waste time, ako na haraka sana. Wanaongea sahi lugha moja, mkapeana watu wa ODM huko kwa serikali, mkidhani wako afadhali. Si ni wale wale tu. Fisi ni ule ule tu ni ile ako chama tu iko kwa ako kwa chama tu iko kwa serikali. Mkiwaingiza kwa serikali si wana behave the same. Hiyo mambo ya Adani tunafaa kukata sababu public participation ijafanywa, sababu hiyo Adani ni yawezi. Na zile na zile na zile na zile cases za wizi Adani iko nayo hadi kwa koti huko India azijaisha. Endeni muangalie research ya Indenburg Research. Imetoa hizo ma, mambo zote za Adani. Order members. Molo Dinga is the architect of Adani. He's the architect of Adani. Not even Ruto. Nsema nitakasirisha watu wengi sana hapa. When when uh, PM Prime Minister wa India anaitwa aje someone Modi. Modi. Before Narendra Modi was the Prime Minister of India alikuanga wapi? Who knows? 
na nani anani, anani anajua alikuwa wapi that is why mimi mara eh, very good mimi mara mingi sitaki kuongea hapa bila kufanya research kufanya kuongea hapa mambo ambayo isaidii watu you're right he was the chief minister wa wa Gujarat state Modi na ni mtu ambaye an advocate for Hinduism na yeye ndio ame install sahi ile controversial temple iko mali inaitwa Ayodhya ambaye Wahindi na Waislamu walipigana Wahindi wakabomoa Wahindi wakabomoa mosque ambayo ilikuwa imesimama Ayodhya for 500 years na Modi vile amekuwa prime minister ameenda akaisimamisha what am i saying when Narendra Modi was the chief minister of uh, Gujarat. Alikuwa ameanzisha program nyingine ya kuita my investors. Every annual it became very big. Gujarat is one of the richest states in India. Alikuwa ameanzisha an investment conference ambayo ilikuwa inaleta matajiri wengi sana hapo Gujarat. And one of the people he invited was Raila Molo Dinga ambaye alikaa na three people three richest people in India moja alikuwa anaitwa Ratan Tata the biggest business house in India inaitangwa the Tata Ratan Tata mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Ambani na number three ni Andani Adani is one of the richest Indians in India it's not a small person na the Adani group unajua ni group si nonsense kama hii it's a very big conglomerate of business it does it's an investor ni mtu ametengeneza in airports in india si ati ni kitu ambaye ameanza hapa ni mtu ambaye ametengeneza infrastructure projects all over the world not just in india so the adani group iko na capacity na nimependa sana ule kijana alikuwa hapa ile kitu the questions we asking and i suspect when raila was called na mnaanza ingia kwa mtafuta hizo ma clips. Raila ko hapa, Chief Minister of Gujarat ko hapa. Na hawa jamaa wote akina Mbesh Ambani, kina Ratan Tata and those multi-billionaires of India they were with Raila in Gujarat. Then now wa Hindi walipenda sana ideology za huo jamaa anaitwa Moody because he's pushing the Hindu agenda na kwa kweli party party ni mbili india moja inaitwa bjp nyingine inaitwa congress he went on a bjp congress fighting for hinduism unajua hinduism ndio imewekwa nani imeweka modi hapo na raila used to be called and used to go so he's a very close friend of modi modi and modi is a very close friend of adani and modi is a very close friend of Uh, Ratan Tata and is also a very cool, close friend of, um, of uh, the Ambani group. These are multi-billionaires. Ambani Mwenye is six times richer than the Queen of England. Ambani, Reliance Group. So this Ambani and Adani and Ambani, they are different. Adani, Raila is the, is the brain, is the architecture of this Adani group coming here, if you do not know. Raila Molo Dinga is the architecture. Through this man called Uhuru, when they were shaking hands and bringing investors, akawambia we are bringing a good investor. Na Adani ana capacity, don't think ana capacity ya kufanya hiyo kazi. But ule kijana alikuwa hapo ameongea vizuri sana. When these deals are crafted, we need to understand the transaction analysis ya hizi deals. How are these deals crafted? But you know the culture of secrecy ambayo itaendelea. So Raila is the one who has, craft, who has brought Adani here. Nobody else Ruto angewajua wapi. Where Ruto doesn't have it doesn't uh, say ndio na build global networks. Hana hiyo global networks kama Raila. Raila is the one who has brought Adani to this country. That is why now he is now supporting because if he does not support and unajua Adani wali support Narendra Modi kukuwa prime minister of India. And right now as we are speaking kwa wale ambao hawajui India shall overtake China kwa population. How many of you have that fax? That is the UN. UN has said that India, the population of India has surpassed China. And then again, the China economy is going slow and the Indian economy is accelerating. So all investors wanna kimbia India. That is why Modi, 
Modi, according to the Indians, he's the best prime minister since the days of Akina, Akina Mahatma Gandhi and Ule Nanim, Kina Narendra. What was his name? Huh? Ni hata msomangi bana. Unakujanga hapa kupiga siasa ya gashagu ambaka hata mnanga information. Huh? Yeah, Dani, Adani, ule kijana alikuwa hapa mbele yangu ameenda wapi? No, is the one I want to do my, re my reference to. Unajua kwa debate lazima uwe na reference. Hata kotini, hata ukienda kotini lawyer na reference. Wana reference. Ameongea vizuri. The question is not that Adani hana capacity. The question is it deals zimechoro aje. Hizi za 30 years na za Kentrako na nini na nini. Hapo ndiyo sasa ile game tunafaa kuwa tunataa kujua. Na yo jamaa amesema uo kijana alikuwa hapa. Amesema we must understand that transaction ilifanyo aje. How was the deal crafted? Because this global deals zinafanyika kila siku. So Raila Molo Dinga is the culprit of the Adani. This Ruto guy has just been brought in by Kina Uhuru. Because Uhuru na Ruto have never divorced. Iko kijana liongea mzuri hapa another day. Akasema, if Uhuru wanted to give Raila the presidency, he would have done it. But it was not in his heart to give Raila the presidency for his own interest. And I don't know he game. I don't know whether even... Unajua he game vile lichezwa. Maybe it was even a... Bengina... <laughs> you know, I'm coming to understand. Even maybe Raila never wanted to be the president. He only wanted to be president. I'm telling you the truth. What was done, kuna kitu imefanyo at a certain level that wananchi ya watajua. But... Adan is Raila, for your information. And you can go to India and look for those clips. Mutamwana mesma mapa. Modi, Modi, Modi Akiwa, Chief Minister Gujarat. Uh, Ratan Tata, one of the, the richest group in India, ni Ratan Tata. No, the richest group is Ambani, Reliance. Ratan Tata, then Akina Dani follow. Na kuna mwingine alikuwa na itangwa sijui nani. Huh? No, that is his baby. That is his baby. So... What they need to tell us, Nizi kickbacks, ambaye Ratani anasema, Adani anasema. Raila should come clean. He has done a lot of business with us for a very long time. Na sisi tunam support for a very long time. And, uh, but they need to tell us, wanafaa kufanya hiyo kitu inaitangwa financial disclosure, watu wajue. This deal, ile wana pocket ngapi, na ile ambaye, because kuna vitu kwa hiyo deal ambaye yende vizuri na watu. But capacity ya kutengeneza airports, that group has capacity. Capacity and infrastructure, they have. And unless maybe, maybe within the last nini hour, but they are crafty businessmen. Why are Indians who are Kenya, by the way, kama mjuangi? Eh? Indians are the ones who, who have corrupted everything because they have money. Sazile tulikuwa tunaenda England to cure Commonwealth. Bona sisi ya kuenda. It was visa free in the UK. The Indians went. Wacha, in fact, my senior Kosewa alileta hiyo debate vizuri sana. Na kabla ni guzie, kabla ni guzie hiyo, kabla ni guzie hiyo na ningependa kusema kwamba, ni guzie tu kidogo kwa impeachment ya Gashagwa. Niseme kwamba, whether Gashagwa will be impeached or not, to me it is an an issue. And it is a shambolic process. It does not meet the threshold of procedural fairness, legal threshold, and public participation. It does not even the threshold of impeaching even your own wife. It does not meet the threshold. In fact, Ikifaulu, then impeaching a governor in Kenya has got very high standards than impeaching a deputy president. Impeaching a deputy president will be a joke in this country, a total joke. But impeaching a governor is very high. The standards are very high. Because it has, go, it has go to go through the, the MCS, then through parliament, and then through the Senate. But impeaching a, 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 a deputy president will be a total joke in this country. That threshold, Villain Mayona, I want to repeat, it does not even meet the threshold of you impeaching even your own wife in your house. Thank you. On the issue of Adani, 
on the issue of Adani, that fellow called Adani has left people crying everywhere he has been in this world. Go to Australia and see the footmarks he left there. Go to Sri Lanka. Go to Gujarati. Go to Bangladesh. In fact, the Indian government, the Indian parliament, the Indian parliament has formed a committee of parliament to investigate how Adani captured most of the Indian infrastructural installations. The Indian parliament. India Mbako Adani Anatoka. You can Google there and see if I'm lying. The Indian parliament has formed a committee to investigate how Adani captured most of India's installations, infrastructural installations, through one person called Nahedra Modi. And Nahedra Modi might be prosecuted for giving, India, for giving Adani most of India's infra infrastructural installations, include, including power infrastructure and health. In Bangladesh, one of the reasons that triggered a revolution in Bangladesh, which sent the Prime Minister home, was the skyrocketing of power of electricity cost. In Gujarati, Adani made electricity cost rise by 102%. You can check there on your Google. 102%. Yani tangu wa chukue, alipo pewa, vile tunataku mpate JKA, power cost in Gujarati rose by 102%. Asilimia moja na mbili. Yaya alipo pewa, vile tunataka tumpate JKA. Hapa Rwanda, wakona mufadhili anajenga kiwanja endeke Rwanda. Walimpatia kiwanja kubwa ambayo ni kiwanja haina kitu wakamwambia kama unataka kutujengea kiwanja ndege jenga pale mbona sisi tusipatie huyu Adani kiwanja huko Athiriba ama kule Mandera ama mahali pengine tumwambia anza hapo anza from zero jenga hiyo kiwanja yako hiyo unataka kutuletea mbona tunampatie JKA mbona tunampatie JKA why are we why are we auctioning our national heritage? J JKIA is not just an airport. It is our national heritage. Nigeti ya kuingia Kenya. Kama wewe wendu upata kwenu nyumbani, baba yaka ameuza geti ya boma. Ukimuuliza baba tutapitia wapi, anakuambia murukia kwa fence. So there is no justification, my brothers. There is no justification. In us auctioning JKA to, to, to uh, an, an, uh, an Asian, and I believe it is not an Asian. I believe it is a Kenyan with an Asian face. That's true. I totally believe it is a Kenyan. Adani is a Kenyan with an Asian face. And we shall come to know. Why are we giving the away auctioning our national heritage? JKA is a national heritage. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is a national heritage. Mbona tusipadia Adani Kiwanja, ajenge. Kama hii expressway, atuku, atuku, atuku wapatia barabara, tuliwapatia, tuliwambia, tumewapatia hii space ya juu. Tuliwapatia space juu. Tukawambia tumewapatia hii space. Kwanzia Westlands, mpaka Mulolongo. Tumewapatia hii space ya juu. Suliwapatia space ya juu. Haku kuwa na kitu hapo juu. Kuna kitu walipomua. Kuna miti ilikatwa. Ndiyo expressway ijengwe. Tukaambia mwiwae ni mfadhili. Hey, Unatuletea expressway. Hey, na utaimiliki kwa miaka ngapi salasini. Basi jenga hapa kwa hii space ya hapa juu. Haka jenga. Mbona tusifanya hivu Adani. Adani ni muradi ambao tutakuja kuregrit badai. Asanteni sana. Power. Watch out to toe kwa leverage area of the ignorant people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You know there is a there is a statement uh, by the by the French, but since I don't speak French, I will speak. I will translate it to English. That when a clown moves into a palace, he does not become a king. The palace becomes a circus. Repeat it. <laughs> so, to the agenda of the day. To the agenda of the day. Adani, if Adani will take the airport, then to me it's a security breach. Because we are surrendering an asset that controls what comes and leaves the country to the foreigner. Can you imagine a foreigner who has no interest of the country at heart controlling what comes and leaves the country? That will be a security breach to the nation. And today, the kind of deal that the government is doing with Adani in our laws of the country, there is no Kenyan who is allowed to be given uh, the mandate to run such an asset. We have a Kenyan who came forward and said, what you are giving to Adani, he can do it on his own, with his own money. Wanjiki said that on live television. And he said he has enough money, the, 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 the acumen, and everything to do what Adani is coming to do. But because it's a politically instigated process, they gave a blind eye and a deaf ear to one of our own. What we have heard from the Honorable Member Kiberenge is that the track record of the company that we are giving uh, the mandate to run our very sensitive assets is not very good. It has left people crying where they are coming from, even their, their home country. Why are we being proverbial ostriches that want to bury their heads in the sand when we can see the facts? <laughs> You know, if there is any politician I had trusted with all my, 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 uh, 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 I had trusted with all my heart. I had thought that this particular politician is not like any other. He has the interest of the people at heart. How comes? <coughs> Let me mention the name Raila because you like it. He came forward and endorsed that process. To me, Raila is just paying a debt. He knows the details of the deal is not favorable for the people. But he is not even in a position to say otherwise because in 2013 he was funded by the same Adani and funded in 2017. Raila has had a daughter who has been uh, with a problem of the eyes, Rosemary. We should go and check if Adani was involved in restoring the sight of Rosemary. I have said that we should go and do range. Uh, Another one, as I. Next point. Next point, the Kentraco deal that, has, that was signed, Adani being given the Kentraco deal, the initial estimation, Adani was to be given that deal at 61.3 billion. Yes. Adani was to be given that deal, initial estimations were at 61.3 billion. But the, po the, the deal was given at 95 billion because of kickbacks. So the, we have lost our revenue, 30 billion, to some political honchos in our country who love, who take every uh, opportunity as an eating time. When, as the Kenyan people,
Mudoto ya wewe. I have been given one minute by the the member uh, the speaker in charge. Ah ah. Wewe mama ya huyu mtoto nani? You know there are matters that we don't I want to ask a question that if Adani is such a reputable country when I am spitting facts you keep quiet <laughs> yes if Adani is such a reputable company that everybody in this country wants us to believe Adani is coming to run the airport. It will be running our health. Uh, and I will give you details about somebody who is in charge of health, uh, who is a representative of Adani in Kenya. If Adani is going to be running the infrastructure of uh, power supply, then what is William Ruto running? If it is so good, then we should give Adani to every sector Adani should run the police. Adani should run uh, everything, literally everything. We should even do away with the president and install an Adani manager there to run our country. Because they, are, they want us to believe that the Adani can do everything that we cannot do. The kind of ineptitude in this country means that we should replace everybody with Adani. As I finish... <coughs> As I finish, ladies and gentlemen, a representative of Adan in this country is called Jayesh uh, Yassini. This is a person who will be running Shah. It was in the public domain the other day that him and somebody called Adil Khawanja, they had allocated themselves 150 billion from TSC alone. We are, wonder, we are dealing with a problem where in, uh, JSS teachers have no money to be paid, but TSE have lost $150 billion to an irregular allocation of somebody in the name of Jayesh. And that Jayesh is the one coming to run your uh, health uh, insurance. We are saying, Yakwamba Gashagwa's Osta has no effect, whether negative or, or positive, to the common mwananchi. Our interest as the people is not anywhere close to where uh, Gashagwa is. Gashagwa ata kitumwa nyumbani, I have no remorse for Gashagwa because he does not depict the ideals of a leader that we want. But Zaza kutuma mutu nyumbani, some member of parliament embarrassed herself in public. That I voted for Gashagwa to go because she say, he said that my marriage will not last six months. Can you imagine the kind of... She's such a bimbo. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, please, don't lower the debate. Don't lower the debate. Okay. Tim him! Ria! Sasa wacha niongee ukweli wa mambo. Amtaniweka maneno mdomoni mwangu bwana. Ah, uh, ukweli wa mambo ni huu. Wajua siku zote eh, hapa injini ama duniani ukikuja na ukweli wa mambo utapata upinzani. Sasa huyu bwana amekuja kutuokoa huyu dani. Bado nyinyi mnapinga. Yaani wanadamu ni wale wale tu. Ufanye mazuri ufanye mabaya ni wale tu. Bado watasema baya tu. Ushaona? Sasa ukweli wa mambo sisi tunaitikia huyu bwana ameleta mambo mazuri katika taifa la Kenya.
Nyinyi mpende, msipende huyu bwana ndiye atafanya hiyo kazi. Nikizonga kidogo kwa mambo ya gashagwa, wacha ninukuu maandiko. Ukisoma medali 25, mstari ni ule wa 16. Maandiko inasema kwamba mtu asiye haki muondoe mbele ya mfalme manake kiti kiti cha enzi kimetibitika mtu asiye haki muondoe mbele ya mfalme manake kiti cha enzi kimetibitika asandeni hey. 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 Hey.